Oh, hey y'all. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. Uh, heading out and about, basically. And it's a not real nice Florida day. It's only about uh, 55, 56 degrees out. As you can see, it's dreary, raining off and on kind of not not raining misty just cold damp nasty type of cold and damp gets into my bones This is actually the Florida State College, Jacksonville, FSCJ. One of my favorite places to go. Or favorite places to drive through, anyway. And I've got to go up Beach Boulevard here to, uh, to the store. Then I got to deal with all these crazies and this ridiculous traffic because it's one o'clock in the afternoon and everybody wants to be out on the road. I guess it's the holidays or something. So I don't know. Uh, let's see if I can get you turn a little bit over there. That construction on the opposite corner. That's going to be a Wawa. It's taking them forever. I want to get, I want it open so I can go shopping in Wawa. I haven't been in a Wawa. Well, it's been a year since I, a little over a year since I went to New Jersey. But I'm hoping when they come down here, they're going to have, you know, all the different deli meats and sandwiches and soft pretzels and all the other stuff that they're fairly well known for and coffee Wawa coffee I don't know uh, I'm pretty particular about my coffee well not so much particular about my coffee particular about the strength most places don't make coffee as strong as I like it I drink almost an espresso by the cup full I usually go with a dark roast and then use a heaping tablespoon per liquid measure cup. Uh, and an extra measure for the pot. So my coffee's dark, very dark. I say if you can see the bowl of the spoon when it enters the coffee, then it's too weak. And I don't mean sitting on the bottom of the cup. I mean when the bowl is fully submerged, if you can see the bowl of the spoon, then it's too weak. Did I just say that it's too dark? That doesn't make any sense. It's not dark enough. It's too weak. If I can see the bowl of the spoon. Anyway. We, some of my other out and abouts, I've, I've come this way or gone the other way or what have you. 
It actually it cuts out like three traffic lights. One of those traffic lights is a turning lane, which is a pain in the neck. Uh. Park a lot of my local Winn Dixie. I'll be coming back here in a little bit. So, I guess I'm going to cut it off here because we're about to my destination. Oh, bring out my other camera here real quick. Get it turned on. Oh no, it's got a low battery. I brought a battery for it. I'll have to check when I park. Oh well, that didn't work. I should have checked that before I decided to come out here. Oh, excuse me. Oh, we're gonna go over here. Like so, like so. Come up in here and park. And any of y'all that have been with my channel any amount of time know what we're going to do next. That's right, I'm going to go in and do a not today. But until then, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Leave me a comment wherever it is y'all happen to leave comments and on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around on your social media, that would be Fandoculus. If you'd like to check out my Facebook page, the description will be, or the, the link will be in the description wherever that is on your device. You'll also find my snail mail address down there. If you want to send me, uh, you know, postcard or stone or any, anything that happens to strike your fancy. I love getting friend mail, snail mail. Um, if your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, hit them up on hit them up on Facebook. Give them a call. We're not promised tomorrow, people. But until I see y'all again, I hope you have a fandoculous day. Slotchy, y'all. Bye-bye.